Welcome! In this video, we'll have a look at the Impact Alex Mini MIDI controller. I'll cover the key features, basic setup, and pad maps. Let's start with a quick overview. Alex Mini has 25 mini keys with velocity, including a choice of four different velocity curves and three fixed values. A foot switch connector for a sustained pedal, a joystick for pitch band and modulation, including MIDI assignable up and down axis and push button function. Octave buttons to shift the keyboard up or down. Reset octave by pressing both buttons. Press the part 2 button for momentary note transpose, layering and more. This lets you change your setup in real time while playing. You can also latch part 2 by pressing the other button. You unlatch by pressing the latch button again. If you're looking for transpose, the part 2 buttons double up as transpose buttons if you hold down shift when you press them. The transport buttons can be used as MIDI buttons, but if you install Nectar DAW integration, they give you instant access to a host of DAW control functions. Apart from transport control, this will improve your workflow by letting you change tracks, or open DAW and plugin windows, undo your last edit, set locators, and more. The large volume pod lets you control the volume for a selected track or the master out. The four buttons on the left assign Alex Mini's controls to different modes and activate the arpeggiators. Alex Mini has two of those, one for the keys and another one for the pads. You can also switch them on and off separately using the clips and scenes buttons. We'll look at the arpeggiator feature in another video. The eight pods are used for different tasks depending on the mode. They can control arpeggiator parameters, with a page button assigning the pods to the selected arpeggiator, or even instrument plugins when DAW integration is active and you switch to instrument mode. This lets you tweak plugins like a hardware synth. The pods now control two times eight parameters of your choice, eight per selected page. Instruments included with your DAW are usually pre-mapped for instant use, according to Alex Mini's screen printing like cutoff, resonance and so on. But assigning your own parameters is really easy, we'll discuss this more in another video. The 8 pads are ideal for finger drumming and include several velocity curve options. If you hold down internal, you have access to 4 pad maps, allowing you to play up to 32 sounds from Alex Mini. The pads change their color according to the loaded pad map. We'll show you the pad map feature in more detail later. In internal mode you get universal MIDI controller functionality and can assign most user interface controls to MIDI CCs or program changes or use the controls for MIDI Learn in your DAW. If DAW integration isn't present, the instrument button provides access to an extra bank of assignable MIDI controls. This effectively doubles the number of available controls. Basic setup on a Mac OS or Windows based computer is easy. Simply plug the supplied USB cable into your computer and the other end into Alex Mini. Now set the power switch to on. The controller is powered from USB and turns on. You won't need to install any drivers as Alex Mini is USB class compliant and works right away with any MIDI music software as a standard MIDI controller. Run your music software and check that the Alex Mini MIDI ports are visible and active. How to do this is explained in your music software's documentation. That's it, you're ready for your first session. If you also install Nectar DAW integration, your Alex Mini is pre-mapped for instant control of supported DAWs. We recommend that you update your Alex Mini firmware so that you can take advantage of the latest features as shown in this video. You get access to all software upon product registration. Let me show you how the pad maps work. A pad map stores MIDI note assignments for each of the eight pads. Using Alex Mini's four pad maps, you can play up to 32 sounds from the eight pads. If you'd like to change a map, first select the pad map you'd like to edit by holding internal and pressing one of the pads labeled with pad map. The pad color changes according to the loaded map. 
Now press Shift and Internal to enter setup mode. Press E1 to activate Pad Learn. Hit a pad to select it for assignment. Now choose a note on your keyboard. You can also use the octave buttons if necessary. Press the next pad and repeat the steps. You can check the assignments by hitting the pads. Once you're done, end setup mode by pressing internal, instrument or function. Now your pad map is updated with the new MIDI assignments. This will remain in memory until you load a different pad map. If you'd like to save your mapping, use the pad map save feature. Enter setup mode again by pressing shift and internal. Press F1 to select pad map save. Hit one of the lit pads to select the memory location. You'll notice that it starts blinking. To finish, press the high C on the keyboard labeled Enter. Now your pad map is stored safely in your chosen memory location. Lastly, if you've made a lot of settings in your LX Mini and it no longer works in the way you'd like to, let me show you how to do a factory reset. For this, simply switch the LX Mini off. Hold the octave up and octave down buttons. Now switch the Alex Mini back on again while you keep holding the buttons. That's all. Alex Mini is restored back to its original factory settings. We hope you found this overview helpful. Thanks for watching.